I'm recording. No. <laughs> well, hello everyone. We're back and we're going to be talking about our key takeaways from Greg's, uh, Greg from Keys for Kids Ministries, um, his discussion with our class. So in our class meeting, Greg shared his encouraging story of how he began in the ministry and his heart for children, what the ministry serves, um, his love for Jesus, and his advice that we could apply in our own lives. And I really enjoyed hearing from him because his passion was extremely evident through his words. And whether or not radio or kids ministry or nonprofits or any of that is something that you're interested in going into, um, I felt that his discussion with us really offered many impactful points. So I thought he did an amazing job at making everything applicable. And after every question that he was asked, he would turn it around and include tips and advice for us. That way we could find something useful for our own career, whether or not we were specific to what he is doing. Um, and it was also very evident that what he does, he doesn't consider his job really. He, it was very evident that um, he thinks of it as so much more than that. And this is the same goal that I personally have for myself. Um, I want to be so clearly passionate about my career and so engaged with it and just feel like I'm serving the Lord every day and seeing the fruits of my work and just witnessing God's glory and not just sitting in a job. So I think that's what I got out of the discussion the most, but yeah, what about you guys? <laughs> Um, I agree. He was like, his passion was so evident. And honestly, it was so refreshing to hear someone say, because I'm a journalism major and he did journalism. And he was like, hey, don't give up on your dream. Like, because I want to combine travel, journalism, and ministry. And he said that. And I was just like, wow, that was so refreshing. I hadn't heard that in a while because journalism right now is like super targeted all the time and it's really messy. And he just brought back really good points about always showing both sides to journalism and just being really fair because that's our job. Um, and so I really appreciated that. And I felt really motivated after he talked to us. And it was just, yeah, I really loved it. And then also I appreciated he was really honest about the trials and errors of his work in PR ministry and journalism. Like he talked, to, he didn't tell us what happened, but he was saying, yeah, we had this really big fail. And that kind of made me feel better um, about going into the future because he's still there at the organization. Like clearly they worked through it. Um, so that was what I took away. Um, for me, I want to just touch on like the organization itself. When I was like doing my research and looking up the organization, I was just like really shocked because um, I don't know, I think it was like 15 or 16. I taught um, Sunday school at my church for the little kids. And just seeing this organization, yes, we have like Sunday school books just, just for Sunday. And just seeing something like this where like parents can take their kids home and during the week they can listen to like the radio and like read um, the stories that they have on this, on the page and just like order different things to keep their kids like in tune with what's going on in the Bible and like the different stories. And then like it better prepares them for Sunday. And I know I had to deal with that. Like the kids were like disinterested a lot of the times. And I think this is like just a great way to keep your kids and the parents like engage with each other and God and just like rounding all those together. And I really enjoyed it. And as far as I think his name's Greg, <laughs> Greg Yoder, I really appreciate him, appreciated him. I think specifically he, I like how he spoke to you, Kelsey, about like journalism and he was like really encouraging to you. And yeah, it was a great class discussion. Would you guys work for an organization like that, knowing there's a Greg in there who's like super positive and encouraging? Yeah, oh, for sure. He yeah, had like really great energy. He was spunky. <laughs> yeah, it made me because like you're so many people burn out in ministry because it's just yeah. like, and with fundraising and stuff, that's always been so scary to me. But he was so encouraging, and I was like, okay, if I had a Greg in my corner, I could do it. <laughs> Agreed. Yeah, and he talked about how long he's been doing this kind of thing, not just Keys for Kids, but um, this kind of thing in general and different ministries and different news kind of things. And just how he still is so passionate about it is really cool. And I would definitely love like my coworkers to be just as passionate. Yeah. So that's really cool to see. Greg, hire us. <laughs> <laughs> 
we're ready. <laughs> cool. Well, that wraps up our overview of keys for kids. Yes. 